Hello and welcome to another episode of The Useless Chef. My name's Rob and I'm joining you after the last two which have been a great success I think in my opinion. Thank you so much for everyone who's commented and so, so thank you so much for everyone who's followed. Um, you know, it's not a massive thing, I didn't expect it to be, but it's, uh, you know, hopefully reaching out to a few people who, who could do with learning how to cook. Um, that's the idea of this while we're, while we're off. So um, hope you're still enjoying it. Um, today we've got um, a lunch. I know I said on the first video that I'd do a lunch next and it ended up not being that way. Um, however, it's here for you, a really quick, easy lunch. It's gonna be like maybe a 10, 15 minute video, I think. Um, it's gonna be chicken and bacon pasta and it is pretty much exactly as it says on the tin. So I'm gonna go now and let you see what you're gonna to need to use for today. Um, again, I'm gonna go a little bit longer with the explanations for you so you have a chance to, to read it and, and view what's going on. So yeah, I'll, um, I'll do that now. Okay, so for today's, like I said, it's gonna be really simple, really easy, not many things you need to, to have. Uh, one thing you need, pasta. We've got a big bag of Fusilli pasta, which fortunately we got before the virus broke out, because now this is worth about probably 400 quid if I sold it on eBay. Um, but we're gonna use some of that today, so pasta. Uh, for the chicken, I'm using just standard uh, chicken breast fillets. Um, you can use the strips if you, if you want. The strips are easier to cut up, but breasts are just as good, um, and we're gonna cut them up in a minute. Um, smoked back bacon, we used the, the rest of this on uh, for, the, for the breakfast, so we're just using the rest of that up. Um, and fry light, that's the only thing we're going to put in the frying pan. Uh, as for condiments, a spoon spatula? Yeah, that's what that's called. Um, <laughs> cutting board, obviously, which um, uh, a follower, Mark Allen, has requested that I wash the, uh, the after every use. That's fine, that's um, health and safety. Thanks, Beans. Um, and all you need is a large frying pan. Sorry, a large frying pan, a large saucepan. See, I'm rubbish at this, really. Um, <laughs> that's all we need, that is all we need. And now at the end, um, once the bacon and chicken and pasta is all cooked, um, you know, I'll, I'll run through a few choices that you can have as, a, as, a po uh, as for putting in sauces and, and whatnot. You can buy the stirring sauces from Domir, they're really good. Um, they work just as well in this dish. Uh, you literally stir it in after you've cooked everything. Um, I, I like I like mayonnaise. I like, I like bacon, chicken, and mayonnaise. So uh, that's what I use. Um, but it's each to their own for what you put in. Um, but no, that's it for for this. I'm gonna put this on here now and take a picture for you so you can see it all up in close and personal. Um, and that's it. Okay, the first thing you've got to do is uh, you've got to get the, some water on to boil for the pasta. Um, so the way I tend to do it is um, I put water in my kettle, fill my kettle up, put it on so the water's uh, boiling in there. I'll also put a small amount of water in the saucepan, put it on for a medium, uh, uh, sorry, a me yeah, medium to high heat. Um, and once the kettle's boiled, I then just add the, the kettle water into the saucepan, which I've done already. And like I said, a medium to high heat. So what's gonna happen now is, this is gonna to come to the boil while we're cutting up our chicken and our bacon. And once it's boiling, we can leave it. It doesn't matter if we leave it for five minutes boiling. Just be aware, obviously, when it does boil, it does evaporate, so you need to put some more water in if you leave it too long. Um, but preferably not. Um, if you do it, if you're fairly quick at cutting up your chicken and your bacon, stick it all in, because it all goes in at the same sort of time. So, I'm gonna cut up my chicken, got my chicken breasts. Um, now, the one thing about chicken is, a raw chicken is, is full of bacteria, bad bacteria. Um, so as soon as you put it on a, on a, on a cutting board or any surface, um, the surface will need wiping as soon as you're finished with it with the chicken. Because uh, like I said, it's got like, things like you get salmonella poisoning from, from raw chicken and, and whatnot. So, it's always best to, once you've used raw chicken on any surface, a cutting board or, or any surface, just to wash the surface thoroughly afterwards. But for now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut this chicken into strips. Uh, 
and those strips we're then going to turn into chunks. Chunks can be as big or as small as you require. So, so what you're going to do is you're going to cut up all your chicken uh, like this into into chunks, and uh, when you've done the other other breast as well, um, and then we'll we'll put it all into a saucepan, uh, into a frying pan. But for now, it's uh, water in the saucepan to get boiling. As you can see here, the water is already boiling, um, so that's good. That's ready for my pasta, but I'm not ready to put the pasta in just yet. I'm going to cut up all my meat first get the frying pan going, then I'll stick it all in at once because it will take 10 to 12 minutes for everything to cook uh, and the same for the pasta. So yeah, we'll, we'll just leave it there for now um, and then we'll come back with the bacon. Okay, so now you've cut your chicken up. Um, what we're going to do is we're, we're going to put some fry light into the pan. I have just washed my hands by the way before I started that. Um, so again, six or seven splashes of fry lights into the frying pan and then we're going to put the chicken into the pan. Spread it all about a bit. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the uh, middle unit here on to oh, hang on. <laughs> Trust it went to go wrong when we're filming. Anyway, I'll fix that. Um, so that is going to go on to a low to medium. That's low to medium and that chicken is then going to start to cook whilst we cut up the bacon now like I said earlier about the chicken being on the surfaces this now goes into the wash and if you've only got one chopping board and one knife then you wash them up thoroughly now with uh, soapy water and, and, a, and a sponge obviously um, but if you're as prepared as I am voila you get another board fresh board and a fresh knife and what we can do is now that the chicken is now in the pan and starting to cook we can uh, cut up the bacon but first what we're going to do is we're going to put uh, the uh, pasta back in so I'm just going to bring it back up to the boil turned it off for the purposes of the tape So, pasta. How much pasta, you ask me? Don't know. Uh, what I'm going to do is I get a big cup. A big cup. And I measure it out that way. Complete lie, I've never done this before. Okay, that's enough for one portion. So I do two cups, or one and a half cups. I'm going to do roughly two portions. So, <clears throat> as you can see, the pasta is now in the pan, uh, in the saucepan, and the water just covers it uh, by half an inch uh, or so. Um, but it's just covering it, and all I'm going to do is, is set it there. It's on uh, medium to, to medium high. Chicken's now going, so I'm going to give this a quick stir. As you can see, it's going white already. I'm not going to add the bacon in until all of this chicken is white again, because mixing meats, raw meats, is never a good thing. Um, as long as one meat's cooked, then I'm happy to add the, the bacon in. Look, spoon spatula holder, fantastic. Anyway. Okay, on to the bacon then. Uh, the bacon, again, you're gonna cut into sort of uh, chunks or strips. 
got three rashes here, it's plenty. And as for the purpose of Slimming World, I am just gonna nick these bits of fat off. My wife doesn't like fat bits anyway, so. And she will be eating some of this. Like I said, I'm making enough for two. So she will have some. Uh, while that's in a bit of a state, I'll just cut that up. And what I'm gonna do is, rather than leave it here, on the chopping board to get him away. Once I've chopped it, I'm just collect it up and put it back in the packet. Again, the wifey, she likes to do this with um, with scissors. She thinks it's easier. Uh, I don't really know. It's I'm certainly butchering this at the moment with a knife. Uh, it should become a bit easier now. I've got the best bit. Okay, I'm going to cut that in half, and that will do. Okay, before I do that, I'm just going to stir this chicken again. I'm just going to take that down a notch, just to the low setting. Another spoon spork with holes. This one's a, a draining spoon spork. No, spoon spatula, that's it. <laughs> One day, someone's gonna come, come and tell me exactly what they are. Anyway, I don't care. All I care is about food. So, carry on cutting up the bacon. I, uh, I don't ever wanna say that my wife is right. But, we haven't got any scissors in there, fantastic. No, she's not right, see? She's not right, it's much easier with a knife. That was embarrassing. Uh, okay. Fat. Eat. Yeah, that's once you get off this, I call it the bacon tail, once you get the tail off, it's all right to cut, but this stringy bit of bacon at the bottom here, once you remove the fat, it does nothing keeps it in, it's all just like, no. see the comments from them already. Well your wife is right, it is easier to cut with her with scissors. No, 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 no. She's not, she's wrong. She's wrong. Becky, you're wrong. <laughs> Trying to edge the uh, expensive kitchen counters when you're doing this. Okay, we're nearly there. Okay, right, quick wash of the hands. Okay, a quick stir of the pasta, just so it doesn't stick to the bottom of the pan. It does happen if you don't move it around every now and again. It's already starting to cook, which is good. Um, this one is a chicken spoon spatula thingy, majig tool weapon, as I called it last time. Okay, again, as you can see, this chicken is not quite cooked. It's still, it's still, well, it's not cooked anyway, but it's on the outside. It's still pink on the outside. So I'm just going to wait another couple of minutes for that to to go white or to start to go brown before I. Um, chuck the bacon in. It's not far off now, probably another, just another couple of minutes. Okay, now the chicken is cooked enough on the outskirts. <laughs> outskirts. Everything's falling apart today. Look, me, me, me spoon shovely chickeny thing is now falling apart. Uh, okay, another stir of the pasta. That's nearly cooked. Um, you can tell it's getting bigger, it's getting softer. 
Um, so that's only a couple of minutes away from cooking now. Brilliant. Um, we'll put the bacon in now. Like I said, I'll just put it back in there. <laughs> don't, <laughs> don't cook the packaging. I'm not sure plastic tastes well with this dish. It might do though, you never know. So the chicken and the bacon are now together as one. And as we know from um, from the big breakfast, bacon does not take long to cook at all. Uh, only a few minutes, especially if you get it nice and even over the pan, especially in the chunks that you've made here. Okay, I'm just going to add a little bit more spray tan to the uh, the food. Yes, I called it spray tan. Um, and I'm going to take this opportunity now to just clear up. So this is from the bacon. Scrape all the rubbish into the bin and put it into the washing pile. And you can constantly sort of clear up as you go along with this one because like I said, it's nice and easy. Uh, that's the chicken one. Jeepers. Okay. Pasta is pretty much done now. That's just going to be another minute or so in there. The chicken and bacon here, look, is coming on lovely. That's only, again, a couple of minutes away from being done now. So we're almost finished cooking already. Just going to let it sit there for another couple of minutes. Okay, the uh, chicken and bacon is now pretty much cooked. You can see the chicken is going brown on top there. The bacon is also going brown in there, so that's a good indication that that's cooked. But we will test it in a mo because the pasta here has absorbed a lot of water, which means it's pretty much done now. It's very, it's very soft. So I'm going to go ahead and do a quick taste test. Take one, drain it. It's going to be really hot. Blow. In it goes. Mmm, bellissimo. <laughs> That's cooked. That's lovely. So I'm gonna um, turn that hob off. And oh, the chicken and bacon's on its lowest setting anyway. And all I'm gonna do is grab uh, a colander, draining colander. Take the pasta, and all I'm gonna do is drain it through the the sink. Sorry, I haven't got the sink on camera. Give it a couple of tosses through through that. Put it back on there. That can go on the washing car. Okay, now chicken and bacon. I'm fairly happy with this. It's starting to stick to the pan, which is a great indication. What I'm going to do is I'm going to find the biggest bit of chicken, possibly this bit here, the nice thick bit. And what I'm going to do is... Um, Cut it in the pan here. I was looking for my knife, but I've already cleared it away, haven't I? And it's not a clean knife. So I'm just going to cut it in half and then inspect. Now that's white inside, nice and white. There's no pink in there, there's no red juice or anything. It's, it's nice and white, and, and that means that the chicken is cooked. I'm just going to double check it with another thick piece. Again, nice and white in there. There's no pink. There's no blood. That's fantastic. So that means the chicken is cooked. So take that off the heat. It smells lovely, by the way. Uh, turn that middle thing off. You know I've fixed this nearly. Uh, okay. So we are now officially cooked. So now it's just a matter of amalgamating it all together. Um, for that, you're going to need a mixing bowl. I really haven't done very well with telling you what you need today. Um, but we need a, we need a mixing bowl um, and we'll put it all together. Okay, what you need now is a nice big mixing bowl. Smack that in the middle of the dance floor. It's a bit too, not very safe, not very wobbly, uh, not, not very, it's quite wobbly, not very safe, there we go. Okay, pasta in. Pasta spoony thingy, weapon. Okay, and then 
straight in. Everything in. Brilliant. So now you've just got one big bowl of quite wonderful goodness. Um, now this is the point where I was saying earlier that you can either put a um, mix, a sauce mix in here. Um, Don't me, I do one. The, the stirring sauce is literally. This is now when you put it in. I don't know if I've got one. Let me just check. Um, no. I'd have loved to have to show you one, but I'm not very prepared. Um, so basically what they are is a little um, a pot which you take the lid off, pour it in, and then you'll you'll get your spoon and just mix it in. Um, so you don't have to cook it in. It's just literally a stirring sauce. It does exactly what it says in the tin. I, however, I'm going to go down the may mayonnaise road um, just because that's what I prefer. haven't got much mayonnaise left so uh, uh, light mayonnaise for anyone who's asking uh, and all I'm going to do is just pour a fair amount in bear in mind that it's quite a lot in there that might might look like a lot of mayonnaise but it's, it's not considering the amount of pasta and stuff you've got in there so I'm just making excuses now just going to mix it in nicely all together Just a splash more mayonnaise. There's not much left in here, so I might as well use up that hole. <laughs> oh, there's any left in there. There we go, that's plenty. More than enough. My mother will be looking at the screen saying, How much are you putting in that? Sorry, Mum. You know I like my mayonnaise. But there's two, there's two people. I love the way that I'm justifying how much mayonnaise I put in. So that is, for me, oops, excuse me, <coughs> chicken and bacon pasta. That is from scratch, from fresh. There it is, it's, uh, it's all ready to go. All right, so I've grabbed my, my bowl, my pasta bowl. A nice mix, still lovely and warm. I'm just gonna spoon it, spoon it into my bowl. There we go, that's pretty much a, a large pasta bowl full, and there's still this much left. Um, so there's at least two servings there. So if you're on your own, tin fall over the top smack it straight in the fridge or you can put it into a um, into a tub whatever you want um, but just make sure you put it in the fridge as soon as you're, you've done eating your portion um, so that's what I'm gonna go do now I'm gonna go eat this the baby is asleep the wife is working so all on my own there'll be this is just for me just for this guy I'm really looking forward to it uh, let's go eat Is that good? Ha! Oh, schmecker lecker, as the Germans would say. <laughs> That's delicious. That was that was really really nice. I really enjoyed that. Um, that was good. Again, hope you enjoyed that. Um, a small lunchtime meal, nothing major. Uh, not like last time where it was a bit bigger meal. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much how I want to do this. I want to do one sort of breakfasty type meal, one lunch, a uh, lighter meal, a quicker meal, and then a, a deeper sort of main meal. That's how I, I want to do this um, over the next coming weeks um, until I go back to work, really. And then if it works, I might might see if I can still do it. 
Um, I hope you've enjoyed the first week. I I have. Um, I don't care if no one else has, to be quite honest. Uh, it's um, yeah, a big breakfast, uh, chicken schnitzels, and, and now um, obviously a, a pasta lunch as well. Um, I've started up a, a Facebook page. Um, go like it, follow it, whatever you do on Facebook. Uh, also a Twitter handle, and that's all at The Useless Chef. Um, and I can't believe it wasn't taken either. Uh, yeah, so go follow us on there, check for updates, and, and yeah, hopefully, hopefully, um, we'll, we'll get there next week as well and do some more dishes. So thank you so, so much for watching this week. And again, I can't read out enough. If you know anyone that can benefit from this, anyone that's at home alone, doesn't really know how to cook, lives off microwave meals, students, they're always looking for, for, for meals to do. Again, like last time, I'll put the prices up of how much this costs and, um, and yeah, and, and the similar stuff as well. Um, spouses, get off your bum, get into the kitchen, start cooking for your other half. Um, you know, it's, it's a great feeling about it. You'll love it. Trust me, you'll love it. Anyway, that's me done for the week. I'll see you next week. Uh, take care, enjoy the weekend.